and Jason here in our Mexico studio. So I'm going to pass it straight over to them now. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. Hmm. Great to see all your smiling faces. I just, yeah, it's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Really, really good. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, well, we're here at the Tabula Rasa Mystery School. We just stepped out into the studio and just, yeah, it just feels like this unbelievable spontaneous, we're in this spontaneous allowance of what's given in our lives. And it just feels very, very exciting, even just being here tonight because it wasn't part of, it's not our plan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And so, yeah, so we're just really, I just feel very excited and I have a lot of joy and a lot of love to share tonight yeah. and just the, you really just the living experience of living in, in what's given and yeah, it's just been this unbelievable ride. So Eric's here mm -hmm. and I think you have some songs and Jason's here. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to really just give this to Jesus tonight and just see, yeah, I want to have fun and, and I'm just happy to see you all. Hmm. Yeah, really, really good to see you. Yeah. <laughs> really Amen. beautiful. Stephanie. Hmm. And all the people at the mystery school. Yeah, we see La Casa there. <laughs> La Casa de Milagros and Living Miracles Monastery are right next to each other. Mm. <laughs> mm. Wonderful. Maybe, Eric, do you feel like a song? We could start yeah. out maybe with just a song to get us yeah. in the vibe. Yeah, that feels good. Yeah, we just, uh, our mystery school just started, was it two days ago? Wednesday. Wednesday, yeah. Officially. So we have 13 new students with us there at La Casa and yeah, it just feels so exciting and fresh. Like we were talking the other day about how, you know, people come, they really come for us. Like, it seems like they come to like learn from us, but, but like in our mind, we're just remembering that, that it's a, that everyone is bringing a gift and a healing for our mind. And, and that's, yeah, that's just been, it's been so beautiful. I've been kind of overseeing the logistics mm. at the, on the property and, and working with the interns. We have, a, we have a staff team of interns and yeah, every day it feels like it's totally new. Like there's no real, like I can't figure out what's gonna happen from day to day. Like new forgiveness opportunities pop up left and right, but it's, it's always bringing me back to myself. I like that. Um, what's that quote? David quoted someone who said, I think it was Peace Pilgrim recently. He said that Peace Pilgrim had a, a saying that when, when there's a problem in your life, it's, it's good. It's really just to knock you back on track, to knock mm. you back into yourself. And uh, yeah, running a mystery school, it feels like there's a lot of little problems that crop up, like, oh, the toilet broke or uh you know someone's going through some heavy emotions today and but everything is just a backdrop for you know for me to just pray and listen and we, we join a lot and really pray about every detail with such care and precision that it's yeah i, I just feel like everything the whole world is being orchestrated for my healing and mm. even just being here tonight and <clears throat> i've no, no idea what song i'm about to play but <laughs> but I, I feel like jesus is about to tell me any second here <laughs> and, then, mm. and then uh yeah we just roll with it and stay in the moment you know we were just talking about how it we don't want to plan ahead we just want to be given each moment fresh and so this song i think i'll play actually um it's called if not now then when mm. <clears throat> and it's um, all about forgiveness everyone i see is a thought a thought of what i used to 
thought I was alone and separate Till you told me it was just a dream And it takes no time If I want to see it If I want to stop feeling this pain I don't have to keep on Falling over If I just let you in my heart again And if not now, then when Thought I was a symbol of shame When I forgot your name I thought I was alone and different Till you told me I'm still the same And it takes no time If I want to hear it If I want to stop I don't have to keep on falling over If I just let you in my heart again And if not now, then when? If not now If I don't let you in my heart again So if not now, then when? If not now, what then? I know I'll finally be at peace When I just let you in my heart again So if not now, then when? And it takes no time if I want to see it. If I want to stop feeling this pain, I don't have to keep on falling over. If I just let If not now, then when? If not now, then when? <clears throat> yeah, this afternoon we were just praying, uh, all three of us, just really just seeing how the Spirit has brought us all together. We've been together a long time and just, you know, and here we are mm -hmm, yeah. now in this moment in a new collaboration. It just feels like these new, fresh opportunities that the spirit keeps giving us continually to keep stepping out of our comfort zone it's like this continual 
you know, just stepping a little bit further and continually mm. expanding and continually saying yes to what's given. And it's this just, yeah, I was thinking uh, earlier tonight, like, almost like it's like an accordion and it just keeps going and going. And the only problem is when I say no. Uh -huh. And then that accordion, like, <laughs> you know, crinkles up in this. Yeah, I guess I feel like I'm so grateful to be in this full yes to what's given and continually opening, you know, and not knowing and just being so surprised all the time. I mean, this continual, we were talking about on the way over here, fresh, this, oh. you know, and, and I was even thinking how, you know, it's Christmas time and it's the birth of Christ and how the, it's not like in time, it's this living Christ consciousness, this openness to what's given to this wonder and, yeah, I just feel just very, very grateful. Huh. Really, really grateful to live in that experience and to feel how loved we are and how cared for we are. And I know that uh, this morning, David and Francis were talking about, you know, all these steps that we've all taken. And it's been, you know, basically it's a, a journey of forgiveness, just really just practicing forgiveness over and over and using each other and you know, being vulnerable and, you know, from the very beginning, I mean, you were in Kentucky uh, way back when, and we were just together, not really knowing what we were stepping into. We were talking about that earlier today. Like we had no idea, you know, and this real faith and this trust in God, really with all of our heart, you know, a willingness to serve and a willingness to practically apply a course in miracles and experience what Jesus was promising us. And, you know, that's the gift about the mystery schools. People get a taste of the practical application, putting away the book. But I feel like our lives have are such a demonstration of um, living, you know, in the will of God. <laughs> You know, and this aligning, this continual aligning, and the joy and the happiness. I guess that's where I'm at right now. We were singing, and we might sing it a little later, but mm -hmm. on the way over here, we were singing What a Wonderful World. And uh, Eric had the window down, and he was like waving to the children. <laughs> going through the neighborhood, cranked up the radio. And we were all like windows, singing, like... What a Wonderful <laughs> World. <laughs> you know, just it, it, and you know, not just speaking the words, but we want to uh, all, we want a living experience. We want a direct experience of this union with God. And I just feel so honored and so grateful that I devoted my life to forgiveness and to, yeah, trusting God and, and even living with David in the community. I mean, one of the things that he, continually does and I, I just know that he does that and we it's like the ego hates it it's this continual gift of you know stepping up on the rung of the ladder to the next rung it's like mm -hmm. the ladder just keeps going mm -hmm. we're continually stepping up to the next rung and mm -hmm. and and it's the most beautiful experience because you feel just your mind expanding you know and yeah you have to face the fears and face the unworthiness and face the guilt and the shame and the control, so much control, you know, undoing of it, but letting it go is, the, you know, it's like trusting that we don't lose anything by, by letting go and letting God. Mm. It's a miracle, really, mm. to mm. sit here. Mm. You know, that's what I feel, actually. You know, I'm here with Jason, and we've been together, I don't know how many years. Mm. Mm. Yeah. <coughs> a long time. Yeah. I was reflecting back on when I met you both. I think it was at that Kentucky retreat and it was my first time really like diving into a community experience. It was like a three week devotional retreat. And uh, yeah, I just had so much fear looking back and I really, I projected all my stuff onto these two characters here. <laughs> I, I remember just feeling like, 
like, where's David? Why isn't David? Because he was there for a little portion of the retreat, but then he like flew off to his next travel. And I'm like, why do I got to follow like these guys? What, why are they in charge of the retreat? And and they're like, I remember Jason asked me to cut the firewood for the retreat. Like that was that was my spirit given function. But I, I was I was like, I'm not going to cut the firewood. I remember I went outside and I, I, I was like, OK, I'm open to it. And I, I cut like one piece and I'm like, I don't like this. <laughs> <laughs> it was like the, the willingness to forgive wasn't really quite abundant enough in that moment. So the firewood, I think someone else had to cut the firewood. But uh, yeah, it's like so many years later and I feel like I've just been given the opportunity to continue to face whatever it was that I was projecting onto them and keep bringing it back. And now, I don't know, there's a, such a deep like love, like kindred mm. spirits, like we've, yeah, we've been through so much together and <clears throat> yeah, I'm just really grateful for how beautiful this journey is mm. as it unfolds. I don't even think, you know, it's like, it's not even, I don't see it as personal anymore either. It's like, wow, I've just been watching this amazing, like awakening story that seems to be this character, Eric, with all these other characters and, it was all kind of scripted and I feel that's true for everyone like we're all just watching we're watching the story of our own awakening that's already happened but we're we're watching it as if it's brand new and mm. and it just does get better and better it gets easier to forgive the, the willingness just the more we get a taste of how good it feels to have a clear mind to have a mind that's free of grievances the more we we want that and and it also seems like it like the forgiveness lessons can get more challenging but but we're at, we they they're never more than we can handle and we, we're always given something that will ex, like if we accept the lesson it will expand us even further like even closer to the awareness of heaven and yeah, it's just it's like what a beautiful mm. like, like a masterful plan like mm. ricky's ricky's our friend ricky como has that song into the kingdom oh what a masterful plan mm. and it really feels that way especially now like working with you both in the mystery school it's mm. just been i don't know it's just so rich and mm. deep you know it's really it's beautiful rich. because it's such a living experience of like we don't know like a real experience of that, but just, you know, like how his plan is being unfolded and, you know, just saying yes, it's like this natural thing that's happening. Mm. Like we're just observing it, you know, mm. and it's appearing in front of us and we're just, I don't know, it just is the most beautiful experience really to live in. It's like very detached too, like you were saying, like we're all in our function now. I mean, that's what I feel like now we're all in alignment. Like, even not just us, it's like the whole community, our whole, we're all in this vertical, you know, relationship with God and, and using the projects just to remember God and that we're all just like in alignment mm -hmm. and, and it feels so beautiful. Like we all have our area mm -hmm. and everybody's parts essential. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I was thinking, you know, cause when I was uh, listening to Francis this morning, how, you know, almost like you can't imagine the plan. We can't figure it out. We could never figure this out. Mm. But like from the very beginning, I was remembering when I very first met David and uh, I think I was sharing with this with you today, but it was so, you know, I was praying and praying and praying for a mighty companion. It was like my last prayer. You and, were already into the course. At and that I was time. in the course and I was a, that's when I was a CEO and, you know, and, and, you know, I had all the, the riches of the world, which were so unsatisfying. It was like, it just was like, uh, is this it? And then, uh, David appeared somehow, some <laughs> miraculous way. And I remember the very first gathering I sat there and he's sharing all about his life. And, and I'm sitting there in all this wonder. And I was so immersed in the world, you know, and studying the course. And uh, the gathering got over and I, and I ran up to him. I was so excited. I thought, oh my God, this is exactly what I want to do. 
this is exactly what I want to do. I said to him, and he looked at me very calmly and he said, well, let's go. And I'm like, oh my God, are you kidding me? He's like, me? come on, come with me. <laughs> he goes, great, come on, let's go. And I was like, whoa, you know, what, you know, what's happening? And just so immersed in this, you know, uh, dream character of Lisa and thinking, how would that even be possible? I could have never, never knew the plan 